Hi guys, it's the Island Girl, and I'm back with another one for you today. And today I'm checking out Remembering Queen Elizabeth II died at 96 years old. So we're going to do a video remembering the Queen. All right. Um, I've never done any videos pertaining to the Queen, so this would be good to know about her because, as you know, it's different here. We don't have that kind of a um, monarchy here in the u.s but everybody know who queen elizabeth is she was loved by many still is even after her passing so i know you know it's a a, a touchy topic meaning you know it, it pulls the heartstrings so we're going to get right into this one so if you're new to my channel and it's your first time here come on in wrap back relax and enjoy this video to all my regular schmegler day one sweetie pie sweetie pose come on in right back put a smile on your face and enjoy all right guys so let's get into this video here we go now she was born princess elizabeth alexandra mary on april 21st 1926 oh. far down the line of royal succession and largely out of the spotlight that changed radically in 1936 her grandfather, King George V, died, and within months, her uncle, Edward VIII, abdicated. This abrupt turn of events meant that Elizabeth's father became King George VI, and the princess was elevated to heir apparent. Oh. The princess wished them all the best of luck and success in future operations. As she grew into a young woman, she began taking on public service roles during World War II. I did not know that. And in 1947, she married Lieutenant Philip Mountbatten, a one-time prince of Greece and Denmark. Their ceremony was held at Westminster Abbey with some 2,000 in attendance. Oh, wow. Five years later, Elizabeth's life changed suddenly again when King George died. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family. Her Majesty, looking radiant in her wonderful gown, leaves the palace. And so, at the age of 25, she ascended to the British throne. Wow! I didn't know that she was that young when she, oh wow, became queen. 25 years old. She was born on April 21st. Nice. My son's born April 17th. My mom's April 17th as well. Very nice people. Not only that, I did not know that she, you know did military service as well, based on what you see. Oh, she's an all-rounder, wow. The coronation of Queen Elizabeth took place amid great pomp and circumstance, an event broadcast to the world on television for the very wow. first time. Will you solemnly promise and swear to govern the peoples of the United Kingdom of Great Britain? I solemnly promise so to do. In those early years, the Queen and her husband, now the Duke of Edinburgh, started a growing family. Firstborn was Charles, the Prince of Wales, and heir ah. to the throne. Then Anne, the Princess Royal, followed later by Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Prince Edward, Earl of okay. Wessex. Along with motherhood, the Queen also aimed to be a modern monarch and kept a busy public schedule for decades. I would like the whole American people, north, south, east, and west, to know how happy we are to be here. She met with world leaders at home and abroad and traveled extensively. Oh, wow. One such visit brought her to the U.S. in 2007 while then President George W. Bush was in the White oh. House. It is the moment to take stock of our present friendship, rightly taking pleasure from its strengths while never taking these for granted. And it is the time to look forward jointly renewing our commitment to a more prosperous, safer, and freer world. I really love how well-spoken she is. I, no, I know she's a queen, she has to be, but her voice is so soft. It's like you have to listen to her when she's speaking. That's how it seemed to me so calming so you know some people talk and you'll be turned off by it but her voice oh my word her voice is just to me so so soothing 
Jeez. The queen also carried out an endless variety of ceremonial duties and was a patron of more than 600 organizations and charities, from child welfare to environmental conservation. Wow. 600 charities. Through it all, she tried to keep her family's personal life largely out of the public eye, but the effort was increasingly in vain. In 1983, an intruder broke into Buckingham Palace and confronted the queen in her bedroom. What? And in 1992 came a series of tabloid scandals. Ten what? Somebody break into her bedroom. Jeez, that must have been frightening. Wow. Tensions in the marriage between her son, Prince Charles, oh, and Princess and Diana. Diana broke open with reports that both were having affairs. The Queen's second son, Prince Andrew, announced his separation from Duchess Sarah Ferguson, and Princess Anne divorced her husband, Captain Mark Phillips. Oh. Finally, in November that year, a fire destroyed historic sections of the royal residence, Windsor Castle. That same month, the Queen reflected on what she called the horrible year. 1992 is not a year on which I shall look back with undiluted pleasure. In the words of one of my more sympathetic correspondents, it has turned out to be an annus horribilis. Reports of the Queen's contentious relationship with Princess Diana continued. <sighs> Charles and Diana divorced in 1996 after having two sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. One year later, Diana was killed in a car crash in Paris, leaving a nation in shock. Amid an outpouring of public grief, Elizabeth drew criticism for waiting a week before issuing a statement on the tragedy. Oh. She also objected to Charles's relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles, but when they married in 2005, she held a reception for them at Windsor Castle. Oh. Ultimately, the Queen's popularity recovered, both at home and around the world. She became known as a devoted grandmother and later great-grandmother. Wow. And perhaps even better known for her colorful suits and hats yep. and for her love of dogs, especially the corgis who seemed never far away. I did not know that she's a love. Well, yes, I'm lying. You have always hear about the queen and the corgis. Even when you watch cartoons, you, you'll see that. You'll see a corgi between any animation or any cartoon whatsoever where the queen is they're talking about the queen there's always two corgis um i have no clue that he took she took so long to um talk about diana's death but she's still she's loved by many like i said and still is and you know it's 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 not easy and i didn't realize they went through so much in 1992 that the family went through so much transition and it can be hard and it can be difficult. And like I, like it said, you know, trying to keep your family out of the public eye, it's it got to be a lot of work, man. But she's an amazing woman. She was an amazing woman. And, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but her voice to me, her voice and demeanor has, haven't changed. Just hearing her speak in public for the first time, and all the way up until she was much older. It's the same velvety, soft tone voice to me. Wow, it's just amazing. Britain celebrated the Queen's Diamond Jubilee in 2012, marking the 60th anniversary of her rule with ceremonies, concerts, and a maritime parade, featuring more wow. than a thousand vessels riding down the Thames River. Thousand, Three years later, in September 2015, she officially became Britain's longest reigning monarch, surpassing her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, who ruled for 63 years. What? And the weddings of her grandsons, William in 2011 and Harry in 2018, once again brought an outpouring of affection for the royal family. Through it all, Elizabeth wow. urged her people to aspire to the good and to practice kindness, as in her pre-recorded Christmas message in 2016. We sometimes think the world's problems are so big that we can do little to help. Mm. On our own, we cannot end wars or wipe out injustice. True. But the cumulative impact of thousands of small acts of goodness can be bigger than we imagine. The Queen wow. herself tried to stay active, even at an advanced age. But in late 2016, Buckingham Palace announced she was cutting back on her appearances and her work for a number of charities. 
She also faced new personal turmoil when Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, who is half black, renounced their royal duties and said Meghan had been subjected to racism within the royal family. The couple ultimately moved to California. And in April of 2021, Prince Philip, the Queen's husband of nearly 75 years, died just short of his 100th birthday. Can you imagine being with someone for so long and they pass on your companion? You know, you're the ins and your outs, you're up and you're down. That's a devastating blow right there. Then to be in the tabloids for negative, you know, that negative, uh, you know, you've tried to avoid all that. You, you thought you had surpassed that from 1992 with, you know, where your kids got divorced and Diana died and all of that to come now up to be in the tabloid and all of that to come now up to be in the tabloid day in, day out and it's, I know it had to take a toll on her. Man, wow. And then to know that she reigned for so long, the longest. Wow, that's amazing. Elizabeth herself slowed down markedly during 2022. The platinum jubilee of her 70 years on the throne. 70 she years. She missed some of the anniversary events and was said to have difficulty getting around. But in one of her final acts, the Queen did meet with Liz Truss to formally request that Truss become the 15th Prime Minister of her long reign. Oh, wow. Queen Elizabeth II was 96 years old. So look at her face. 96 years old. Just looking at her face, that smile is always there. Always there. It, it, it never disappears. And, you know... The, the speech that she make that we may, yeah, on our own, we can't stop devastation, wars, and so forth. But little by little, we each can play our part. We each can do our part beautifully. Well said. Um, may her soul rest in peace. This was a beautiful video for me to check out because, like I said, I've been diving in and looking into the UK in Britain and you know doing all of these videos but I've never taken the time out to really look at look at Queen Elizabeth the second very insightful you know at least I know a, a little bit more um it's the island girl that I'm running out of here don't forget to share this video like this video not only that go in the comment section tell me what you'd like me to check out next because it will be done Love you guys to the max, and I'll definitely, definitely see you guys in another video. That's for sure. Don't forget to do what? Check out the merch that is on the channel, and thank you so much for always supporting your girl. Also, guys, uh, wrap back, relax, put a smile on your face, and continue to <laughs> enjoy, guys. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>